Hello brothers and sisters today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and uh we're going to rejoice in it and of course be glad in it as uh we study his word and uh in today's Bible study lesson we are going to be answering a very much uh often asked question about the new age and uh many people usually ask uh, what is the new age movement what is the new age movement all right that's what we are going to answer today uh hope you're seated uh, on a comfortable seat and uh, you you have a pen and a notebook <laughs> and of course your bible and then uh let's get started let's get started now the expression new age uh came into existence in the, in the 1970s and the 1980s and it was promoted by the circulation of the new age journal and a book by Mark Satin which is called the new age politics and uh Marilyn Ferguson's best selling aquarian conspiracy was a presentation of the social agenda and uh philosophical vision of the new age and Ferguson's writing attained status as the unofficial scripture of the movement and uh as Russell Chandler a writer of the Los Angeles Times wrote in uh, understanding the new age he said and I quote if Ferguson wrote the new age bible then Shirley MacLean is its high priestess because Shirley MacLean's book Out of a Limb chronicles of a reluctant conversion or basically we can say conversion to new age belief uh not that his book her book actually <laughs> basically described her travels and studies which included um, science fiction like kinder dimensions out of body travel contact with the extraterrestrial beings of course uh, w- w- what is called the trans channeling right sciences and a guided tour of the unseen world and maclean's second book which is called dancing in the light tells us about her reach into the world of yoga reincarnation crystal power hindu mantras mantras and a past life recalling experiences meditated through acupuncture and her spirit guides informed her that uh, each individual is god and she passed along the wisdom that the person is unlimited and the the only thing that uh, you have to realize according to her is uh, <laughs> that you're a uh, you're a god okay just go and read uh, chandler page 6 uh, 6 to 2 right 6 dash 2 that's that's how they name them now new age thinking has its roots then uh, in eastern mysticism which attempts to bypass the mind and there's a new organ of perception which is called the third eye which gives uh, spiritual light and one needs to get the physical self by training oneself to ignore messages from the mind or to see that the mind is actually achieving its cosmic consciousness the mind can create reality <laughs> all right now let's look about neil anderson's book walking through the darkness what, what, what does he say about the new age Now this guy writes and I quote the new age movement is not seen as a religion but a new way to think and uh, understand reality it is very attractive to the natural man who has become delusioned with organized religion and western rationalism and he desires spiritual reality but uh, doesn't want to give up materialism so he wants to deal with his moral problems or also he doesn't want to come under authority 
That's on page 22. And Anderson goes on to summarize New Age thinking. Uh, you can just read from pages 22 24 on his book. Now, let me just give you a summary of what he says about this new age. Number 1, he says that uh, this new age is uh, monism that uh, is the belief that all is one and one is all and history is not the story of humanity's fall into sin and uh, its restoration by God's saving grace rather it is humanity's fall into ignorance and the gradual ascent into enlightenment um another point that is he, he tries to prove in his book is that uh, all is god and if all is one including god then one must conclude that uh, all is god it is pantheism trees snails books people are all of one divine essence and a personal god who has revealed himself in the bible and uh, in jesus christ is completely rejected since god is in impersonal the new age doesn't have to serve him god is uh, an it or a not an he you see they they try to cancel the nature of god and say it's just a force or something and also another third thing that they always say is that uh, there is a change in consciousness if we are god we need to know we are god we must uh, become cosmically conscious enlightened or attuned to the cosmic consciousness some who reach this enlightened uh, status will claim to be born again and a counterfeit of biblical <laughs> conversion uh, appears or is seen there because when they say they are they are born again because uh, you know they they are enlightened by whatever they call you see that's a false born again and the ascetic uh, ascetical is not whether we believe or meditate but uh, whom we believe and in what we meditate upon because we as christians we understand that christ is the true personal objective reality as he say that he is the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except through him John 14 verse 6 That should be the reality. Anyway, let's keep on seeing what this guy explains in his book. Another thing number 4 which he says is the that a cosmic uh, a cosmic evolutionary optimism is taught. And uh, there is a new age coming. There will be a new world order, a new world government. and the new age thinkers believe that there will eventually be a progressive unification of world consciousness and this according to the bible is a counterfeit kingdom which will be led by satan himself we know that because uh, jesus christ has the true kingdom and he will one day rule the earth with peace for all who accept him as savior and king think about revelation 5 verse 13 which says which gives us this uh, picture of how Jesus will rule he will for sure be the true messiah the true king the bible says revelation 5:13 and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such are in the sea and all that are in them i heard them saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever right are you seeing the point here okay number 5 what uh, this new ages believe is that uh, they create their own reality and they believe that they can create reality by what they believe and uh, by changing what they believe they can change reality so it's like uh, if you believe in something then it becomes your reality and all moral boundaries have been erased there are no absolutes because there is no distinction between between good and evil nothing has reality until one says that it is a reality or says that it is the truth if finite man can create truth 
then we are in, in desperate troubles in our society. Unless there are eternal absolutes from the eternal God, man will eventually be his own destruction. Uh, number six, another thing that the, the New Ages uh, do is that uh, they make contact with the kingdom of darkness, calling a medium or uh, what we call a channeler and a demon, a spirit guide, has not changed the reality of what they are. This is the kingdom of darkness, which uh, Satan is the head. And those involved in this kind of activity are in contact with a world that is totally opposed to the biblical God who was revealed to us in Jesus Christ and who defeated Satan. Do you remember how Jesus defeated Satan in Matthew 4, 1 to 11? In the story of uh, when Jesus was tempted, think about this. The Bible says in Matthew 4, 1, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was afterward and hungered and when the tempter came to him he said if thou be the son of God command that these stones are made bread but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God then the devil takes him up in, into the holy city and uh, seated him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time he shall dash thy foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil take, uh, takes him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things I will give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee, get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only that uh, shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaves him and... Uh, Behold, an angel came and ministered unto him. So you see the story of how Jesus uh, defeated Satan. And of course we can see Colossians 2.15, the Bible says, And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Jesus triumphed. Okay? Think about also, in uh, Hebrews 2 verse 14 it gives us also another picture here it says for as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil and the deliver and uh, and deliver them who through fear of death were all in their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all things, it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. You see how God is merciful. So, in conclusion, we have to understand that the New Age movement is a counterfeit philosophy that appeals to the feelings of individuals leading, leading them to think that they are God and can enhance their lives through their own person. And the reality is that uh, we are born, we grow up, uh, live a while on the planet and die. Humans are finite and we can never be God. We need someone greater than us or someone who can provide us forgiveness and eternal life. And we praise the Lord for the God-man Jesus Christ. Through his death and bodily resurrection, he has won us and also won everything 
And that is what we desperately needed. Forgiveness from God. A life of purpose and meaning in this life. And eternal life beyond the grave. Don't miss out on who Jesus Christ is. And what he has done for you. Just later on go and read John chapter 3. And ask Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Believe the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, and your life will be transformed and you'll, you will know who you are, why you're here, and where you're going. That's the reality. All right. That's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope uh, it was a blessing to you. You can download uh, this, uh, this production and to listen later or maybe share to your friends on whatsapp groups and let them hear maybe especially those who believe in the new age and things like this and of course you can favorite our channel and subscribe to always know whenever we post a new bible study lesson otherwise hope to see you soon in the next one